Hi everyone, this is Sinan from Car Inspected and today we're at uh, a local dealership in the south shore of Montreal. It's actually in St. Hubert. Uh, we're taking a look at this uh, 2015 Chevy Volt. We're starting with a slow walk around first just to show you the out uh, the condition of the uh, paint. So I've already done a paint thickness verification on all the panels. I've taken a lot of pictures already. Uh, we've done most of the inspection except for the test drive, testing a few more electronic uh, systems before we finalize, but you can see some crack here from parking. I'll link uh, the photos below or in the description section wherever you're uh, seeing this. I want to highlight a few things. So the uh, the um, windshield has been replaced. There are some trim pieces missing from the wipers, both of them. Not sure why. VIN number. I verified the VIN. Took a computer scan of the um, hybrid system, as well as engine, transmission, airbag, and ABS. There is a common code that uh, is uh, that has something to do with the uh, battery of the vehicle this is not the hybrid battery this is the battery that starts the uh, the engine or for accessories I'll show I'll show you the details shortly you'll see where which battery I'm talking about the onboard diagnostics port. Um, the codes have been recently deleted. I guess it's part of a maintenance that was done. Manufacturing data of this specific model or this specific car is July 2014, making it at 2015. Ready to refuel. Just starting the engine to show you the startup. Ninety-two thousand kilometers, ninety-three thousand kilometers almost. Navigation GPS is working. Heated seats on. Everything uh, that I have tested so far is functional. Now the AC started working. Yep, it's uh, it's functional. The user manual again. I've taken photos of everything. You have a USB and a that one is working. The seats are in good condition on the interior. The folding mechanism as well and the rear seats is functional. There are some stains that uh, not sure what why they're there. You 
can see the back seats are in uh, very good shape. Some little, I guess a child seat was connected here or it was attached here. That's beeping because the key is in my pocket. Fuse boxes, one of the couple of places that you'd find the fuse boxes. So the battery that I'm talking about is this one here. This is the battery. It's a similar battery that you would have in, actually, pretty much the same battery that you'd have in, in a lot of cars, uh, hybrid or not. That's the inflation kit for um, if you have a flat. The charging. details here so um, I'm surprised to see a supreme fuel or premium fuel Not sure what these are. These uh, seem to be a battery terminal covers. So I asked if there are two keys with the car, and I was told that there are two. These are what the keys look like. They do uh, seem to have a remote start. I've already tested the uh, brake fluid humidity and the uh, engine oil quality, removed the cover and snapped some photos, checked the voltage across these terminals here, checked the coolant freezing temperature here and here, air filter is new, engine is running very very smooth, I don't see any issues. You can see uh, The stickers, these are original stickers, this is an original hood. So a lot of signs here that everything is okay, everything does check out. Sorry about that. Engine turned off, charging port, clean, I actually plugged it in, um, it said delayed charging, I guess because the, uh, the hood and everything was open, I'll turn off the, yeah, that one is working as well, so I'll turn this off. or the uh, radio is working Parking sensors, auto, um, these are lit vanity mirrors and the uh, auto dimming mirror in the rear. Wipers 
are working. Circulate auto fan eco. Eco should turn off the AC. I think it will shortly. The heated seats on the passenger side are working. Let's do uh, the The tires in the front are um, almost worn out actually. There are about 6-30 seconds remaining on the tread. The uh, tires, when you buy them new, there are between 10 and 11-30 seconds. So 6 is, uh, I would say, less than half-life remaining. Uh, maybe a season. And the uh, brakes, I'm going to flip the picture a little bit just to gain access to the brake pads. You can see them there, they're about 60%. Um, there's a little bit of too much wear on the outside. I'd get an alignment on this. Now, another comment about these tires. These are made in the fifth week of 2017. They're a good year. They're at 215.55. R17 and then in the rear you have some Iron Man uh, yeah Iron Man tire I thought Iron Man is a competition um, these are brand new they're made in the 34th week of 2018 the tread depth on them is between 9 and 10, so they have seen probably less than a season of use. The brake pads on the rear, they're about 70% remaining. Undercarriage, you can see it is pretty clean. The uh, attachment for, I guess, bicycles or small towing. This has never been used. You can see overall undercarriage is clean. There's some surface rust in the bolts that hold uh, certain parts in place. Other than that though, it's pretty clean. Do the same thing on the driver's side. The exhaust, a little bit of rust showing, surface rust, nothing abnormal. Turn on the lights, force the engine to start again. And the uh, all-way. Now if you give it a little bit of time, the engine will start. I feel like the front wind deflector has uh, the skirt here. It seems like it's out of place or it needs to be pushed into place. There's nothing. I guess they just removed it as part of the oil change replacement or something.
it's a noisy neighborhood between uh, planes, trains, and uh, emergency vehicles. All right, well, there you have it, guys. 2015 Chevy Volt, and uh, that's a pre-purchase inspection. And we're in the south shore of Montreal, in St. Hubert. And that's another hybrid vehicle inspection. Thank you for watching.